so we are looking at um looking at adjusting our plan from last time a little bit fix the game audio a little bit all right so we're looking at adjusting our plan a little bit from last time last time we said we were going to go north and go straight for chosen axes um that sort of thing um we spent a little bit of time looking to hire some better bros kind of came up short um we found a guy who can be a fatigue neutral bro that's about it um but i was looking at my day count so what i think i'm gonna do i think i'm going to buy some more nets and we're actually gonna head up this way and see if we can't get into orc country over here um and then we'll swing back around north hit caravans on a raid and then we'll come back and start doing noble war stuff before i do that i do want to try and hire a monk so i can start generating holy water and then outside of that we're gonna need a lot of nets where we're going outside of that we're just gonna we're just gonna clear clear camps for a little bit That's what i think we're gonna do I'm also very tempted to fire the brigand at this point and replace it with the um, with the scavenger. I'm gonna want to be full ammo because orcs, when you pop them, drop a lot of tools. Is there a temple here? We really need that monk, but I guess we'll check. We'll check, we'll go down and around and then head back out to uh, to camps. We'll see if we have a uh, delivery quest or something. Do that in route. We'll fight some thugs or something if the opportunity presents itself. Where are you heading? Day east, that's fine. Package delivery. Day East, that's fine. We'll do that. No deal. Wow, that event is horrible. Holy crap. Are you serious? Wow. That's my first time seeing that event. Um, next time, I'm just going to rob them. <laughs> What up, man, Wills? Yeah. That was awful. I just, I took, how many injuries did I take there? Wow. That's what's up, man. You have to let me know if you like it. Is there one in particular that you're hoping for? Like, I know you had, you were, yeah. Well, we're about to go clear our country, yeah. I was looking at the day count and I was like, now is a fine time to go to go beat up orcs. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I'd spend a fortune treating these injuries. But yeah, so I got the nets for um for orc warriors. We're just trying to hire a monk before we um I probably should have bought food there. We're gonna we're trying to hire a monk before we go. This might be a three holy water monolith. 
if I don't if I don't get a monk soon. Oh, that's another retired soldier. He's cocky. That's why you use tryout on high dollar soldiers. Oh, buy food. Um, I'm going to set him in the reserve. I'm gonna set him in the reserve and wow, food tie here. I'm gonna set him in the reserve and just have him there for the holy water event. Oh, but this is selling well too. Okay, I feel better now. I'm overpaying for this stuff, but I'm getting ready to make all my money back when I get when I get north. Like when I get over here, I'm gonna make that money back very, very quickly. I was gonna bust this camp on the way too, but like we got the Pimps and Harless event and I took eight million injuries. I've been playing this game for a long time. That's my first time seeing that. I also usually just like say no to that event too. Um, He's a brute, but that's not the end of the world. He's also 3K though. He, he's pretty he's pretty expensive up front for a retired soldier. Um His worst role on melee skill is 55. And he's level three. That's, that's too too spicy for me right now. What up, Slug? Yeah, I came back. So, Slug, I always say no on the Pimps and Harlots event. And I was like, sure, deal, right? Like, I tried it this time. And we got mugged. And I refused to pay the double fee. And I ate like a billion injuries across my entire party. <laughs> Legitimately, oh, no, uh, no resolve stars. That's fine. Okay, so you're gonna sit on the bench. Espen the Faithful. How about Espen the Water Boy? But you're gonna you're gonna sit on the bench and 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 make holy water is what you're gonna do. All right, cool. Um, how expensive are medical supplies here? Probably high because the event. Super high. I don't really need to buy meds. Who am I using for range bros? Um, what class? Um, whatever works. This is a bowyer. This is a grave. This is a grave digger that just rolled double stars and ranged 42 base. And I was like, he'll do. I'm also using throwing weapons, right? So plus 30 accuracy. So they don't have the highest range skill, but you'll see me throwing during the daytime at like 80 plus percent chance to hit because they're throwing weapons. Yeah. I mean, there are things that I target, right? If I wasn't playing Raiders, I would be using, um, I would be using Hunters, right? Like just the, the roll on five Hunters, the best four work, right? Like there are Hunters here now, but I already have level guys. And so I'm not gonna worry about it. Um. I still have injuries that need to heal, but I like I like walking and healing at the same time. So we're gonna walk out here and start looking for camps. And we're just we're gonna see if we can't kind of see what we want to hit. I also don't know how scaled the orc camps are right now. I'm also doing this because I don't have very many barb camps on, on my map. OK. 
Okay. So we're in orc country. We can do these camps. That's the whole philosophy in a nutshell he'll do. Yeah. Did you watch the, the Master Yi trailer? Um, no, I did not. The funny thing is, um, I actually ended up forwarding that link to another friend of mine who plays because we were going to watch it together and evaluate it and like, like it just didn't happen. But I'll watch it on my own. Like if he doesn't hit me back like this evening, I'm just going to watch it on my own. Five-ish warriors. That's what I'm thinking. That was two to three, right? But we can't, we can't fight this camp. Like we can't fight that camp with literally every single person in our party injured. That's a champion. A champion of Necro, fallen hero. Um, I'll take the ambition, but I'm not in a hurry to clear it. We're just gonna walk and heal, and figure out what we're gonna what we're gonna do. Also, like I wouldn't mind finding Goose. And I also wouldn't mind finding Monolith, right? So we got rolled because I, I didn't know that event. That's the first and last time that I, I clicked that option. 15, this is, this is a doable camp. I'm just really beat up right now. This is minus, minus MDAP. This is AP for movement. This is melee defense. This is fatigue. Okay, we can do, we can do camps now. We wait. So for orcs, it's back three. which messes up their charge distance. I believe it's back three. I usually don't mess with orcs until I'm strong enough that I don't care and I just eat the first round of charges, but we're, we're kind of soft right now. Um, one, two, three. So I'm, I'm gonna have to shift somebody up one. I have this tree here. jacking my movement completely up because I'm like trying to reach out. That's okay though. I'll, I'll fix everybody in a second. This could work, depending on how they move. What, these? 95s. 95s, nimble.
Maybe it's not back three. Maybe I had the number wrong. But... So they charge, but they can't attack from there, right? I don't know. I have it written down somewhere, actually. I just kind of don't care. Oh, he has the, he has his injury, so we just lost lost an attack there because of injury. That sucks. I probably don't need to net anymore, but I'm gonna be careful. Should prevent any funny business. What's the goal with this camp? Um, kill it as cleanly as possible. Make money. It's like a 22% fame chance camp. So. Oh my god, that injury. I wouldn't have stepped there. I keep forgetting that this guy has this, this dislocated shoulder. And it's, it's breathing me kind of hard, chat. Um. Both of these are almost dead. Axe in eight turns, axe in 10 turns, axe in four turns, axe in six turns, okay. It's one of the warriors down. Second warrior down. We're gonna flip flop our front line and our back line. The Warlord might actually run away. At this point. This is the injured one. Remember that. guy in training
Ah, uh, this guy stammed out. It's fine. I have to be careful because he can he um the warlord can still push. At this point, I have to net him because he's gonna run, right? Okay. Um, go time. This is fine. He waits. Uh, my trainee is solo, um, solo defense. That if he gets in a position, position to attack, they'll put. He'll push. I mean, a metric ton of XP, I guess, but also a 22% chance fame camp, so you, you hit it, right? Um, our tank ate an injury there. That's fine. He needs stam. He needs to hit benchmark. For, for melee. It's just not not the best uh not the best thrower banner I've ever built. That's for certain. So he's got two perks left. So it's like so he gets duelist and then what does he need that he's missing? He gets duelist um probably probably I think he's over 100 initiative. It might even be like duelist dodge. <laughs> like, cause we weren't able to put anything into his uh, defense stats. He was so below board. Recover, there we go. That's what it is, recover. 100% slug. I was like, there's something I always put on these guys. And, I, and I'm like, I'm like, I never have room for it. It's, a, it's an 11 perk build. Like I never have room for anything. So this camp right here, ooh, that's Orc Young. Like, we're a little dinged up. If I'm fighting, I want it to be a camp. We'll hit that camp on the way out. Here's another one. This is a, another 22% chance camp. No Warlord. Um, Let's rest for a second. If something wants to ambush us here, it can. But I'll, I'll hit this camp um, after we've healed a little bit.
normally I don't agree that quickly with you on recover, but like that's actually how I normally build that guy. All right. Um, his HP is a little jack because of the injury, but that's fine. Everybody else is good. Um, let's replace Nets. We shouldn't need as many this time. Like, there's no Warlord in this camp. So, I'm, I'll try my usual this time, which is back two. And if that lets me step up and hit them, then I'll, I'll take that. So back two, back two does work because they charge, but they don't get the attack, the attack off, and the and the charge. killing because I want to make space. I want stuff to funnel up this way instead of falling down around this edge of my flank. Because like if you see I'm not lined up into them for them to hit me square. But the book says never attack flying enemies. I know what the book says. But I'm I'm killing to open spaces to, to entice them to come up. So that's one warrior who had a path to move, right? He couldn't have moved in square center into my line if that wasn't dead, right? So which way does he go? Down around into my throwers. He shield wall waits. Um, we're stepping in because we, we don't want to eat stuns, right? That's the plan. That's what we decided we were going to do. Shift power down towards that warrior, I guess. That injury! Oh my god! Oh, oh that injury. Drives me nuts here. Um... That, that one's dead. That one's dead too. These three are dead. Ow. That's a young, not a warrior, right? Okay. That's like perfectly fine. Actually, 
actually don't want to kill him right away because he's blocking a space. tile so I need to break that up pretty quick like he's in a this guy's in a dead man's tile with the warrior so I, I need to focus on that yep okay it's not a dead man's tile anymore Wow, he rallied and came back. Okay. I I need to like put a colored helm on this guy until the injury goes away or something. Like, like that's I've literally been trolled by that every turn. Cause I'm I'm so used to moving my guys a certain way. You know what I mean? Um, mostly armor damage. Ninety-one armor damage. One hit. One HP damage. All armor damage. Um, three HP damage. The rest was armor. That's fine. Nothing good in that camp. At like day 105, we'll turn back. I guess I guess ammo is the constraint, right? Um, this is a 66% fame chance camp, is what it is. Um, I won't do it with injuries, but I will do it. It's a hard camp, right? Um, it's probably straight up four warriors. I could wait for it to spawn a party. Since I'm walking around, I could keep an eye out and see if that happens. Because if it spawns a party, I'll go in it right away. Pop my head up here, get vision, nothing. Lots of mountains out here. Not my best camp clearing trip, unfortunately. Um, orc hunter shouldn't want to fight me. Yeah. I don't I don't care about that. I want camp loot. They came from somewhere though. So I'm gonna backtrack the footprints to a camp. Maybe not.
You have to be careful. There'll be scrats and other like awful stuff out here that we don't want to deal with. I also have to keep an eye on food. So there's nothing good out here. That's unfortunate. We're probably healed enough to take the camp we want to take. So I need to start backtracking. I just want to take a huh, the orc country warning. Like there, there's orcs out here. No, for real. But for real though. All right, so we'll, we'll backtrack now. And we'll we'll try and do these two on the way back in. Oh. 33% chance camp. Take it at daytime. We're doing some treasure hunting right now. Break up the uh, monotony of, of grinding and monolith prep. Zerk Frenzy. Not high enough level yet. If he did, I could step up, kill, get the AP, step back. I count three warriors. Does he have Zerk Frenzy? He does. That's what I was trying to do with the other guy. Just so everyone in chat knows. All right. Tank isn't really high enough level for me to use him like a tank yet. He doesn't have Lone Wolf yet. So he's, he's still XP leeching to an extent. If you guys are wondering why my tank is just kind of like chilling back there, chilling up top, being ineffective, that's why. Um, they are going to pressure my southern flank. Um... Okay. That should encourage them not to. Rangiest orc I've ever seen. That's, I mean, that's fine if that's what they want to do. Like, if the orcs want to want to have a have a an archery contest, who am I to to deny them the the glory?
Hey, I killed an orc warrior. Look at all that damage I dealt. I should be careful of the push. He never attacks here, he just does his thing. Chip and armor. Maybe I'm not supposed to move in there. for a hit chance um i want he, he's dead this guy's not damaged just trying to make sure i have i have pressure in the right spots get my throwers in position if I feel pressured. In the meantime, I'm gonna start circling around to try and get an angle for a shot. Okay, he's dead. Ow. He rallies, no, he runs, okay. so you can deal with that. Oh wow, stepping back in? Okay. Feels bad. Work weapons do sell for, for a lot, though. Like, I'm talking mess about the loot, but, like... Like, orc weapons sell for, for a lot. So... It's kind of whatever. Injuries, damage, we're all good. Next Battle Forge guys leveling fine. Strange meat is good food. Like maybe I should keep pushing since I got a little bit more food. Like I said, I also want to hang around this camp. If they send out a party, uh, that's like ideal for hitting it, right?
that's the dinner bell from um the the brigand but i'm not anywhere near wagons right now man i'm lo i'm low food <sighs> i'm gonna have to head back and hit um i'll hit this camp on the way Seven warriors is probably a little too much. We'll play it smart. Like, no sense in dying needlessly. But we're committed to clearing this camp just because we need the food. Like we need the, uh, the strange meat from the camp. Um, these are blocking my throwing lanes. I'm just going to back up. So three. Maybe it's four. One, two, three, four. We'll try four. Less shields, shirtless orcs this time. That looks a lot better. Um, I want one, t one, two, three. This is his spot. I want rowers more north. Let's make this a hundred times more manageable though. Right. We're also doing some light testing, right? We want to see how they move at four tiles apart. I guess if I had waited with that throw up top, I would have had a shot at this orb up here, but this one. I do think backing up four though, the orb did come at me very square, which is something to notice. Because normally you're dealing with, with warriors coming at you on your flanks, which is like just miserable. Probably kill this. Fearsome, get it. Kills warriors and two jabs. <laughs> um, more scared of this axe than I am the warrior. Oh, that's that's a a, a poopy miss there. That's that's pretty terrible. shield Ooh. 
Get in there, tank. Get you some. Break already, dang it. Break. Why won't you break? There you go. Okay. That's fine. Like, we're making money. We're making money, we're just not not getting fans, right? But that's fine though. It's also like a, a good chunk of XP for what we were doing. Um, his HP still isn't at benchmark. We'll take we'll take the first like he needs like a four, even a two gets him there, right? That's fine. Um Duelist, da, 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 fearsome. So I don't. Um, we'll leave this here because that camp is right there, right? So we like hit this the next time we come through here. Nope. We don't have ammo. We just don't want to, we don't want to aggro anything. We're also low food. Which feels bad. It's not as good a trip as I wanted. A million webnecks. Shows. Nothing interesting. Just uh, let's get food. Let's sell. Let's go beat up on nobles. I guess. What are you? Undead. Bad sell price. Bad buy price. But I, I'm obligated to buy food. We'll sell, get ammo, hit this camp on the way back up, and then go fight nobles. Seems like a good plan. We dirtled a little bit, maybe maybe not not too long for it to be a problem, but we definitely spent some days looking for for better brothers. That that didn't really pay off. Um reasonable or we make we make money on that every time reasonable ammo uh cheap food
how long do I have in the day? Do I make it to the town? Four tits, I do. Sixteen, that's fine. I don't know I don't I don't that's like a, a neutral trip right like we left with um we left with right just under 3k gold great battle mobile war camp maybe it's my least favorite um least favorite noble war quest I like the one where you go up and raid because the, the big battle is really hard to control. Cheap ammo, we need 50, 100, 150, 200, max. Again, cheap food, cheap meds. I'm just gonna resupply here. Let's see what this undead camp is. Pop that and then head north. I'm, a, I'm also content just going on a raiding trip and fighting barbarians and getting our axes and stuff. Like I don't really care to end, to end the crisis, right? Like I don't need access to the north for anything. The north isn't blocking me from um the north isn't blocking me from the unknown. A necro eleven to thirteen fallen heroes. Eleven to thirteen fallen heroes. Y'all wanna do it, chat? If chat wants to do it, I'll do it. going once 11 to 13 fallen heroes in a necro going twice nope all right well I gave I gave chat the chance you can't say that I never do anything fun or spicy This will be a much more manageable camp right here. Um, guys, wider gangers, fallen heroes, sure. Um, I would like space to fight. But I may be obligated to shift down because I have stuff in my way here. Yeah. 
like obligated to shift everybody down. They don't have Pathfinder, so we're gonna let them shuffle for a little while. Hero brought us a great axe. Let's go. Let's go. We, we like those here too. It might be prudent to shift everybody down one. Like on our front line. That's probably what we're doing next. Because we kind of we kind of have this guy uncovered. Oh, I hope he drops us that great axe. How nice would that be of him to do that? They're not going to let me move. Feels medium. Is that two great axes? That's two. Ice also lined up into us a little awkwardly, like in a non-ideal way. It'll be alright though. Guys can't be netted, but like, I guess I could have dropped it on the ground. <laughs> but I need to get the flag out. Okay, 
so he's dropping it. just okay for him to step here. This guy's gonna run on the next screen. No. Here it is. He's in for the company range now. I'll still move closer. Okay. Good proc. That dude needs recover real bad. I don't know if Slug is still here or not, but he's 100% right. Like, Slug was 100% right on that. Like, it doesn't matter in the fights where he doesn't have to rally, because he's using throwing weapons, but in the fights where he has to rally, it's like, he, he does not have the capacity to, to do the job. Him here. Keep shield walling. It would have been so nice if he had to hit that guy. If they, if they both drop, like I don't know the rules for drops 
on successive zombie kills. Like if the zombie gets back up, you know what I mean? It doesn't have to reroll the drop. But if it doesn't, <laughs> if it doesn't, like, like we just got two, two great axes from this fight. Which is kind of silly. for the company range. Is he fleeing? He is fleeing. We'll rally here. guys have been very active this fight. You won't have the AP to do it. Alright. 
Cool. Let's go. Oh, we only got... Oh, no. It's in our inventory. We got both great axes. Hey, let's go. So this is 6K. That's um, 7K in loot. Not counting anything else. The two axes is 7K in loot. Off this camp. That's a good camp. Yup. Where's the other one? Or I, I yeah, it was in his inventory. Okay. Well, we look better. Seems good. Levels on our Battle Forge, bro. Not the worst level, just like very mediocre, but it's okay. This is his last fatigue roll, unless unless I try to go greedy. Like he's a he's a 105 already, so he's at benchmark fatigue for a fatigue neutral character. Um with with um what seven more with seven more rolls average three that's 21 so he gets to maybe maybe this guy's a hammer bro like maybe he's better better than i'm giving him credit for all right this guy has potential to to be a true late game bro actually like not a god but but good enough which is like our motto here. Um, he need this is his fearsome level. But yeah, that that was that was an incredible camp. That was really good for us actually. Um, this is a brigand camp. It's just on a hill. It's nighttime by the time we get there. We could also use like two stacks of ammo. Like that's a real thing. Oh, speaking of brigands, and it is almost night. So uh, let's go say hi. What what perks do you usually give a fat newt um, from level eight onward? Fearsome killing frenzy. Um, on a fat newt. So fat nudes are Colossus, Pathfinder, Steel Brow, Quick Hands, Gifted, Underdog, Battle Forge, and then Fearsome, Fortified Mind, Axe Spec, um, is like the standard. The last two perks, or I guess the last um, three perks, are pretty flexible. But Fearsome, Fearsome is is the best way to because if you give them Zark Frenzy, like if you give them Zark Frenzy. So they're gonna they're gonna wear 300 300 gear, right? And they have 105 fatigue. So 300 300, they have like they have just above um, they have like 23 fatigue or something silly like that. So they can get hit and still step and swing. So if you give them Zark Frenzy, like they they can never swing twice in a turn. So it's a way of taking a mediocre mid game bro and getting somebody in 300 300 armor that can generate a ton of power with like a chosen axe or a mace and fearsome fearsome wins fights fearsome fearsome wins living fights like if it's a living enemy fearsome <laughs> fearsome is is nuts period um and it gets better later it functions like an aoe because it functions like an aoe i want to fight these guys on flat ground if possible but it functions like an aoe because morale breaks cascade right one guy breaks the fling then it causes everybody else to take a check right the 
there are other things you can do. You can do if a guy, if you have a guy who you think is going to be a fat newt and he doesn't quite get to where you want him to be, you can do it with a long sword so you can still use the bro. Like if he doesn't quite get the mat. Oh wow. We ran forward because I, I was talking. That's my bad. If a guy dies there, it's my fault. I just want to go on the record. Nope. And he misses the rally. That guy might die there. Because I wasn't paying attention. That's unfortunate. For the record, your IQ drops a lot while you're streaming. It's all good, though. We'll see if we can get him out. I just wanted to challenge chat. No, no, no. No, that's not your fault, Econ. I need to get better. That is 100% not your fault, and I'm not blaming chat. I need to get better. Because there are people who stream this, answer way more complex questions, and like, it doesn't phase them. So no, that is a me, a me problem. By the way, welcome to chat. This is a great first question. I love, I love good questions in chat. So no, feel free to ask me anything at any time. In fact, I challenge you to keep asking me questions so I can get better at playing the game while asking questions or while answering questions. You're helping me get better. How about that? You're, you're helping me improve. So thank you for the help and development in this game. get him out with no problem anyway. We just use the scatter to hit something, right? So for those last two perks, let's say the axe fat neutral you described. What is helpful when killing frenzy and berserk are off the table? Um, fearsome. <laughs> fearsome. Fearsome is the second best damage perk in the game behind quick hands. And you're like, what do you mean? Fear Fearsome isn't a damage perk. Or, or quick hands isn't a damage perk. The, so like, for, so all my people who used to play tabletop out there, quick hands gives you more dice to roll. You get attacks that you wouldn't normally get. Entire attacks, right? And so instead of rolling 10 dice in a fight, you're probably rolling 20 dice in a fight. Right? Um, fearsome, so mace guys, um, yeah, you're like, if you're building like one-handed mace or two-handed mace, for his first question, is it a shield mace bro or is it a, uh, here, I, I got you. This was built, I'm, I'm shooting you a link, whispering it to you. This sheet was built by the guy who helped me get significantly better at the game. Have a have a look see at that and see if that answers your questions.
fearsome is useful for, for a, on a mace guy. Um, it's not as useful useful because maces don't have the double fearsome proc that axes do. Also, we saved this guy, right? That happened. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe we saved him. Um, let's get a real damage roll on this guy. Like, it really depends on what you're building the bro to do, right? So, like, Fat Newts, when you're building Fat Newts, what you're saying is, is this brother is not, is, isn't is quite good enough to be the late game god bro, right? And so, what you're doing with the Fat Newt is, is you're, you're, you're saying, I have resources, I have access to, to good equipment, and I need to start preparing for Nimble to fall off. I'm approaching, you know, day 110. I'm starting to fight too many enemies, you know, Nimble and Dodge are falling off. But I, I, I don't have, you know, true in-game God bros yet, right? So Fat Newts are a way to make use of the guy who just isn't quite good enough. Oh yeah, <laughs> that'll do it every time. Plus, plus accuracy. Early game plus accuracy is is the answer. Yeah. I already have a dog out, huh? Just trying to make sure my food didn't get away. I heard the noise, but I didn't get the notification. Oh, Econ. Hey, thank you for the follow, man. I, I appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Um, I do ask that you never sub. Um, I don't care about money for this whatsoever, and I don't want it. Like, that's five bucks towards your, the, your next favorite game. But like... I, I just like having people around to talk about games I enjoy, so the follow is, is more than gracious enough, thank you. Yeah. Like give it give it to give it to Slug. I don't I don't want the sub. a very profitable stack. I don't I don't mind that. What are we doing? I like lost my train of thought when I when I accidentally put that guy in a really dangerous spot. Um this is a, a late game greed bro right so we're being as greedy as possible with this guy um he needs axe back actually Um, so he has weapon spec, his, he's gonna get Berserk. Um, the reason why my order looked weird there, like when you took Killing Friends, you wanted, cause I didn't have the ax yet at his last level. Um, and I didn't know what weapon he was gonna have. So his stam, he's neutral unless he's swinging multiple times a turn. There is a universe where I take recover. Um, but I don't like it question mark there is a universe where i take recover on that guy though Ooh. brigand leader and it's nighttime i could hit that before daytime uh 
Um, he's going to need more HP. He's going to need more HP. He's going to need more Stam. Um, this is his Lone Wolf level. Um, his armor is just shredded. I don't have anything else to put on him, do I? Like, I just need him to have enough to get by. Um, I guess I could pull a backliner's armor and, ro and just rotate the armor, right? And then I can put something else on the backliner. That's, that's like, fine, right? His helmet scuff, too. Treat it the same way. Um, rotate. Rotate a backliner's helmet for his. He's more likely to take contact. And I just have to be careful with this guy. Um, it's fortified, but not on a hill. We take this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Four day before day. Got it. Um, so easy trick for these camps. Just, you just back up all the way. They'll come forward. They'll come forward out of their little, their little situation. Um, so now that they're forward, um, I could run at them. I could run at them here, actually. Um, I could also back up a little bit more. I'll go ahead and run at them now. this archer threatened that's gonna aggro everything else to come forward but you see this was a for this was fortified right this was a fortified location and you see how they i just backed up and they all just came out of out of the their their fortifications like like brilliant strategy and now i have one engaged so the ai is going to switch from from defensive to, to aggressive. So now they're they're all gonna come forward. That way you're not like playing games with the fortifications like, oh, did I bring reach weapons? Oh, just like, just back up and they come out. Like the archers will try and back up, but now everything else is gonna spill out. And if you have dogs, you can, you can catch the archers with dogs too. Like that also works for this. You will see me yoink people quite often. I probably do it too much, but 
it works. Because it's it staggers him. He's that guy's gonna die before he can shield wall. I just don't want to get stuck on shield walls. Because then you take a bunch of chip damage. Like that. Like I don't I don't wanna spin a chosen axe swing into a shield wall and knock him out. This is this is a dead man's tile. I need to get him out of there. Nimble or not, I have to be careful. I need to I need to open this up. Um tanks. Tanks should not be hitting 70 melee attack. If your tank is hitting 70 melee attack, you're you're leveling them incorrectly. Cause you're on a tank, you're leveling you're leveling MDEF, MDEF, HP, resolve, fatigue. Like to astronomical levels. So you you shouldn't have the spare levels to put into um, to put into melee attack. Um, that sheet I sent you, if you scroll if you scroll to the end, it has a forge tank and nimble tank example. If you scroll to the end, and it has the benchmarks, it has the benchmarks and the build. But tanks do not attack. Attack. You you give a tank a dagger because it's the most fatigue efficient thing you can do. And if you don't give, if you don't give a guy a weapon, the AI won't acknowledge it as a threat, and they'll just walk out of walk out of zone of control. But tanks don't attack. Tanks tanks walk into groups of enemies get surrounded and sit there and pull six enemies out of the fight and then you're picking off the things that get that that don't hop on your tank this tank is is still in the oven so he's not playing like that cuz he's he's not he's not done cooking like he's leech, he's still leeching uh, hp or XP, XP. So he's not, this one's still cooking. So that's not the best, he's like not an example. Ow. Um, I don't care. It's non-stat. It, it's a like non-stat for for a tank. I, I don't care at all. Like, you want your tank to have such high M death that literally every enemy in the game with three to four other things adjacent to your guy is rolling on 5% to hit. And if he gets hit by a chosen axe or something crazy, it, it doesn't like, it doesn't come close to one shotting him. Like that's how strong, um, that's how, how, Tanky a tank needs to be.
That's it, right? Um, it depends, right? Like, you can have a one-handed, you can have a, a one-handed weapon guy with a shield be there for offense. Like, you, if you're building a shield mace, bro, um, like an early game guy, you have a lot of flex space. Like, you have a lot of flex space in your perks. So, like, you can if it's your, if it's your jam. I guess that leader who I killed before he could switch weapons had a great sword. That's what's up. 23 tools. That's fine. This is a good camp. But, yeah, like... Like, I have this guy... This guy needs, um... So this is this is a uh, like an early game bro who I had to patch melee attack on right so he gets fast adaptation so I can patch his melee attack. Um, he has a he has a star but he was he base rolled so like I couldn't really do anything else with him otherwise he would have had a great sword or or something like that. Um, so he like he's gonna get Endom right. On his next level, he gets Endom. And then I have a, a spare perk. Cause I use these, I use these as off tanks. Like they're not like lone wolf, like tank, you know, crazy amounts of chosen, but they will run on, you know, two or three raiders and like nothing and not care, right? So and and then they'll endom unholds and all that other stuff for you. So you if you had a bro who you were doing this with who like didn't need fast adaptation, right? Like that frees up a perk and you can do other cool stuff. Um, if you're using a mace and you plan on stunning with this guy, it's fatigue intensive. Um, Endom is fatigue intensive. So you're like, you have to, like you're, you're taking recover if you're taking Endom, right? But, but, Fearsome is a great way to just add capacity um, that doesn't cost you any fatigue on a build that's already fatigue intensive. He's going to be endoming. He's going to be stunning. He's going to be shield walling. He has like a billion other things to do besides use his regular attack. Um, but yeah. Um, I would like a little bit more fatigue on this guy. Um, ugh, that's so terrible. Um, and he doesn't have the highest initiative either. Like he's only getting 15 points of defense from um, from dodge at max value. Like this one might actually need like relentless. <laughs> like, like this one might need relentless to to function as the game gets gets more aggressive. I'm going to take this one. I don't like it, but I'm going to take it. Um, and then where are we at? We're probably doing, I guess I could, I could also go dodge reach advantage on him. That, that would help patch his defense a little bit. Um, if I give him reach advantage here, he has two more perks. So it's like reach advantage, Zerk Frenzy. That's fine. Just anything, anything to help his defense a little bit. I'm okay with. Relentless is also an option there. Um, benchmark, that's fine. This is fine. This is great. Um, and we need more stamina. Um, so now it's, now it's, uh, killing Zerk Frenzy. It's Zerk Frenzy. And then he has another perk for student. If he's at benchmark and everything's cool, then it's bags and belts. I mean, he's going to be under on, on melee attack for this build, but that's fine. Okay. 
Um, night is going to be over, but we need to repair for a day. Or not repair for a day. But where are we at? Where are we at inventory wise? Um, we're approaching. We're we're like not full either. I. Can't. It is not a perk. It is um, it's an EHP calculator. So it calculates nimble or it calculates battle forged, um, and it helps you figure out combinations of gear that type of thing um i got it exclusively like i could take it off honestly i use it for testing nimble forge yeah it's a mod um i use it for testing nimble forge when i'm trying to find the right calculation so i don't have to keep punching everything into a calculator on my computer to figure it out we want we run no game changing mods we run a lot of we run a lot of quality of life mods like a lot. By the way, what's up, Iceman? How's everything going? Uh, do I fight this in the daytime? It's on a hill and they have marksmen. That sounds like a great way to get shot to death. Is what that sounds like to me. What are you in the... Whoa! scared never worried we just you know we just don't you know feel like doing that fight right now but yeah how you doing tonight ice man <laughs> what's good with you we have a pretty good uh pretty good run going um i'm not actually interested in ending the war i like i'm making a lot of money uh we're fully healed killed fully repaired these guys get get got I just don't want to fight in this wall. Okay. Looking for stuff, I want a dagger. We're, we're gonna wait all except the guy who's in the crater. I'm gonna get him out of that crater. fine with you out here. You have Lone Wolf now. You're fine. If I have to move you any further. Okay. This should be fine.
I guess that was a bad throw. Like that chance to hit was really bad. They're, they're pretty dumb. Like... And people routinely come in here and they're like, like, why aren't you using bows? Bows are, bows are crucial. And I'm like, bows were the meta five years ago. Like, like that was before barb throwing weapons. I guess I should probably kill this dog up here too. But yeah, Ice Man, like throwing weapons are dumb. These aren't even good throwers. When, like when I when I when I get out of this fight, I'll show you their stats. Like these are some of the worst throwers I've ever had. Like they're they're straight garbage. Ow! Please stop. Um, I'm probably done wasting ammo right now. let the dog live as a dog owner whenever i cannot just smurder the dog you know they're not even worth that much xp <laughs> like it's funny i've seen the craziest most mature rated content in video games and for some reason hitting the dogs in this game bothers me <laughs> because of the sound they make and they didn't used to bother me until one day I like killed a wolf in game and my IRL dog like just looked at me. She didn't make a face, she wasn't sad, like she didn't make like a sad face, she didn't whine. She just gave me like the coldest stare. She gave me like, how could you stare? You know what I mean? Um, There's a lot of action right here. That's also a leader out in the oven. I don't really need leader. I guess I, I need 210, 210 mail. Um, I also just like refuse to deal with marksmen during daytime, right? Like that's our running. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Fun truck. I'm gonna aggro an army out of this thing though. And I'm not gonna be able to get it unless I like skirt the wood line. Are we dinged up or anything? Nah, we're fine. Also, my mules should be repairing backup stuff and holding it for me, right? Like, you're not just gonna sit back there and get to make holy water. Like, it's all good. You're gonna you're gonna hold things for me while also making holy water and expand my inventory for eight gold a day. That's what you're gonna do. How about that? Bet not have an attitude about it either. Just just free up inventory space. These are 150s. You're gonna hold this great sword for me. You're gonna hold this pike for me.
You hold a map for me. You get to hold my spare throwing weapons. Nah, we, we work around here. You don't just get to sit there and eat food. Say charity. All right. Um. So we're three. Oh, that's only nine. If nine dudes want to run at me, I will smack them. All right. This is fine. Um. I don't like this terrain blocking my throwing lanes. This is fine now. top of turn order probably there's like absolutely no reason for me to run forward though like they they're obligated to come to me he's gonna go back because he's on guarding behavior for the for the donkey that's fine it's like but yeah they they have to come forward so didn't shield wall? Okay. See how that works out for you. Is there a reason why you use uh, two barb axes and two great axes? No, uh, the great axes were free. I got both of those great axes in the same um, in the same undead camp. They were free, and they replaced um, they replaced tier two weapons, and they were free. They were free tier three weapons off of uh, Fallen Heroes, so I used them. Is the answer there? Chance to hit. Just, just move him in there for zone of control. A chance to hit. Mm. This is fine. Um, but yeah, I do, I, great axes, great axes are, the chosen axes are slightly, like, almost not noticeably better. In order to tell the difference between a chosen axe and a great axe, you actually have to, you almost have to put it in a hits to, like, if you put it, if you put it in a hits to kill calculator against something like a chosen or an orc warrior, the, the barb axe is like 0.2 
point as in decimal, point two less swings or something like that to kill. It's like, for the most part and most enemies in the game, you won't notice the difference between a great axe and a chosen axe. That's not all enemies, but the even the enemies you would notice, it's not noticeable enough to like, like if you get free great axes and it's guys who would use chosen axes, I don't want to fight that. They have Arbor Listers, don't they? Yeah, no, we get rocked. <laughs> we get rocked if we go into that. I will fight it at night. I will, I will absolutely fight that at night, though. And we're healthy? Yeah. So we'll just kite them for a second. I will absolutely fight them at night, though. This is a bigger stack. Are we healthy? We are. Um, do we have nets? We do. But yeah, I, I absolutely fight this at night. Ow. What are the chances of me running up here and getting completely surrounded if I run to this high ground right here? Like 100%, right? So I don't do it. The old high ground bait. I'm just gonna let them move. This is also a lot of guys. I might be backing up to pull them off, the, off that high ground. But let's let everything move first. Might be a wipe. I might I might have just just off of my positioning messed it up. It's very possible. Cause like sitting here swinging at shield walls is not what I want to be doing right now. And I have a guy in a dead man's tile. It's gonna be this is gonna be bloody because I messed up positioning. And the thing, the, the nefarious thing about footmen is they have fast adaptation 
they will hit you. If you let them swing on you long enough, they will hit you. Yeah, so this, this guy probably dies here. We're kind of panic netting, but it is what it is. Yeah, this this guy's got this guy's dead. He is is he a barb or is he just like a generic dodge quick hands bro? Oh, he's a 90 gold day teller, guys. That's fine. stops these from swinging or from shooting that's fine oh the ai and their puncture chance Sorry. Sorry if we got quiet chat. I'm like in focus mode because I made a mistake. Yep. Fine. You just sit there. I should probably be dealing with the damage. Instead of getting stuck, um, I just need to get guys unstuck off these footmen. That's fine. Them being all confident is a little bit more obnoxious. But we'll deal with it. Um, let's get on this guy now, because otherwise he just tries to step forward to cover his guy. Yep. Yep. gonna be bloody but great thing is we're gonna have a lot of gold when we get back to recruit <laughs> so what do we say we're supposed to be we're supposed to be killing the damage right if we can hit anything what's our chance to hit here 71 Getting, getting stuck on footman walls is how, exactly how you lose guys in these situations, but, you know. And I ran, I ran right into him after I, after I said I should wait. It's all good, though. Copium chat. sure the next time we swing on this thing we hit it
Okay. If we get this guy out right here, then like I'm more than okay with this result. I mean, like this guy should should have been dead, but for the moment, he's all we got, right? I guess this guy's in trouble too. Yeah. got ourselves out of it guys it was ugly there for a minute if dog catches that uh that marvelous dude those crossbows are worth a lot right they're like tier three crossbows so for like two-ish like your cell value is like 500 or something crazy like that i think it's only appropriate can so raymond can we chat can we give a a, a round of applause for raymond here who sat here and tanked like five guys down here the entire fight as a nimble bro he just sat here and tanked five guys that was his first actual attack all fight he's tried he stunned a guy until a couple times that was his first attack all fight but can we can we just all applaud raymond who, who like he didn't kill anything but i promise you chat this guy right here hard carried this fight because if he gets rolled if this guy loses there are like four guys that ball us up right here and more than that he, he tied up two arbalisters he tied up two footmen like <laughs> yeah the the real hero the the real hero um, if we catch this arbalister right here, I'm gonna kill him. Cause I want that cross like I want that crossbow. I don't like regular bows. I will use a a a arbalister crossbow. It's just like bow mastery. Bow mastery is like bow duelist. It's like I mean that's exactly what it's like. Not bow mastery, uh, expo mastery. But yeah, actually hard carry.
Also, I'm I'm done. Um, I'm done using throwing weapons this fight. Okay, I lied. Okay, now I'm done using throwing weapons. Okay, we lost one of our worst dodge quick hands bros. Um, we got his great axe back. That's like all we care about. Uh, we got all three of the heavy crossbows. So that was worth it. <laughs> uh, smart loot, get the trash out of my inventory. That way you guys don't have to watch me pick through my inventory for, for 20 minutes. Um, okay. Cool. So, not Water Boy. Um, you're just a, a warm body. You are frontlineable now, right? What do we say we're gonna do with this guy? We said we were gonna be greedy, right? He needs like one more resolve roll. But I guess we could fix that in the, re the arena. Like if we're gonna be greedy with this guy, we have to take this four. Um, um, this is his quick hands level. That's fine. And his mat sucks, but that's what great swords are for. He should probably have a shield, um, quite frankly, but I don't think we're going to fight anything too spicy until that guy levels. Also, are we are we just out of ammo right now? We're also pretty dry on ammo. So it might be time to uh it might be time to head back anyway. Okay. All right, chat. It's that time again. How much do you think the bag is worth? And we are going to repel repair everything of value in the bag. Like everything that can everything that can sell for value. By the way, smart loot mod um tracks your average price of tools. You hit the button, it repairs. You don't have to go through and be like, is it worth it to repair this item? I've done the math by hand for, for four years and finally I got tired of it. Um, so we are repairing before selling. How much, place it in chat, how much do you think this bag is worth? We're black on ammo, so I'm going to probably go as straight as I can. 12K. Also, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Depends on where you sell it. I will not sell for less than less than uh, 17 shield price. So I don't have a pricing shield out because I used it. So if you don't know the the shield pricing trick, you get an item that costs around costs a hundred, and it gives you an easy way to quantify sale prices between towns. So. 17 is a is a acceptable price eight to anything above 17 is great um 16 15 14 you're like sell when you have to sell anything below that like like you sell to make space if you know you're gonna go get some high value loot somewhere anything below that you don't sell unless you have to make pay buy food or you have to buy tools before you like anything below 
14 is like mandatory selling because you have to. We don't have ammo, but I see a loot wagon. Iceman says 9K. Yef says 3K. Um, I got 12K. Um, and if I didn't already, welcome to the stream, my guy. Happy to have you here. Um, we, we're gonna hit this loot wagon. You are allowed to adjust your estimates after we hit this loot wagon. Let them come to us. But yeah, you are allowed to adjust your estimates. Because we'll, we'll get like a grand off of this fight. If it's like a triple fur wagon. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> um... I mean, we're gonna completely reload ammo, right? We kind of, we kind of don't care at this point. Math by hand by video game. <laughs> what was your game before LOR, Mad Wheels? You were a Yu-Gi-Oh player, right? If I remember correctly, forgive me if I'm misremembering. What's the icon in your guys with the guy being punched? It's an uh, EHP calculator. It's a mod. Um, I specifically use it for manipulating Nimble to figure out to figure out the um, <laughs> three fur wagon. All right. Smart loot, get it, it's great. Um, all right. All right, for real. I'm gonna stop fighting stuff. I can stop anytime I want, guys. I don't, I don't have a problem. You have a problem. Um, yeah, you were a Yu-Gi-Oh player. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm like, <laughs> the so as a kid, the numbers in that game scared me, which is funny because I was at the time, I was a con like the first thing I learned how to do was play Control in Magic, which was just like, like all calculating probabilities, right? But like, I as a kid, I would see four digits. In Yu-Gi-Oh, and I'd be like, eh, I don't, I don't know about this. You know what I mean? These clouds are how you get ambushed in the forest because you don't see the footprints because of the cloud, and something walks up on you and ends your run. All right. Um, we're gonna buy ammo at that. Ooh, a thug hut. All right. This is the last fight before I go back. This is the last fight before I go back. All right, I can stop anytime I want. I can stop anytime. So like my fight density is probably trash. Like I'll check one of my starter bros and see like what my fights versus my day count. It, it is easier. With, I know that as an adult, Mad Wheels, but as a kid, I was like, oh my God. But like, I mean, I have a finance degree now, but I still suck at math. But like, as a kid, like it was different. Like I'm talking about, I was like eight. You know what I'm saying? Um, are they really going to sit behind four slingers? They are. Okay. All 
I'm I'm not throwing in this fight. Like I'm not gonna use throwing weapons. I'm just I'm just gonna beat these guys down. I also used a lot of my nets too, huh? That was like a pretty I mean we used we used pretty much everything we left with as as equipment, right? Like we used a hundred percent of our nets. You know, a brother's life. You know what I mean? That's what you do, man. You squeeze value out of your bros. I don't even know why I tried to hit something in melee with my banner. Like, I know better. Okay. I think I have a 20 sell price over here or something crazy like that was the last one I saw. If I'm not mistaken, the last really good one. Um, No, everything, this is terrible. So like, this is the shield trick I was talking about. You see how I have a single digit here? This is a terrible sell price. I don't have to, I don't have to do any other thought past that. I guess I can check and see if this is a delivery or something. It's probably not, it's probably hunt something. That's, that's scratch. Right. Wait, did I hit accept? What, what just happened? I just clicked through some stuff. I've never seen that before, and I've played this game a long time. I do have to be careful of hostile soldiers down here, because of Noble War. Like, I do have to remember that. 14, no way. Um, I am going to sell something cheap. Like, I'm gonna sell a couple cheap things to make space for ammo and for these because these are profit like I'm going to immediately profit off of these dies alright let's see what we got here for a sale price we'll rest until day Sixteen. Nope. Yeah, I need I need ambush trade routes. Um, 
I could all I could try a southern city state. Like those things are usually ambushed. But 16 is, is no good. Mustering troops. That's 17. 17 is a sale price. 17 is a sale price. Alright. Before I sell, let me make sure I don't sell anything I don't want to sell. So let me favorite the stuff I care about. I want to keep one. I, I want to keep this axe. I'll get more of these bows at some point. Um, this heater shield goes here, and I want to keep a spare in case it gets broken. Although I don't want to use another house's sigil, like FL guys. Um, and then there's like nothing else. He has his quick hands weapon. He needs a bill hook. Um, and then there's nothing else I care about keeping, right? And I guess he gets a dagger too. keep this fur. I probably should be keeping these to make nacho necklaces. I don't care about full hammer right now. I'll get more. Um, I don't care about this war bow. <laughs> um, he's in 200 to Just make that. Put that there. Um, he's gonna be battle forged. Let's give him. Um, let's get him set up for a second. Okay, so I don't have to worry about anything else here. Okay. All right, we're set. All right. 17 is a fine sale price at um, this difficulty because oh, I'm on I'm on expert economy so 17 is fine all right guys all bets are in let's do it We had like 1700 gold when we got here um so this was like just over 15k is what the bag was worth actually i'm lying i'm lying guys um no no actually this army sword is for sale yeah um so just over 15k is what we got off that bag. Not bad, huh? Uh, 
Um, when I when I have played, it's been Heimerdinger J's. I really like. I, I really like. Like when Mad Wills, when you said that Heimerdinger J stack was for me, like, you know, you you know my playstyle very well. I can't get off of it. Like I can't. It's that I I I do have fun playing that deck. <laughs> like I, good or not, I have fun playing it. Um. Yeah. So, ammo. Uh, we don't need food. Okay. So now, how do we take that money we just made and get stronger, right? Um, after after Battle Forge, you take Berserk. No, on most bros after Battle Forge. On most bros after Battle Forge, I take um. I take fearsome. Um, I was just kind of on autopilot, but the correct, in most cases, it's correct to just go ahead and take fearsome. Um, like, usually you're still leveling guys. If it's a if it's a forged Zerg frenzy, bro, you probably still need stam. So you're like you're gonna trigger killing frenzy, and like even if you have a Zerg frenzy, at like. Like, then what? You run out of stam, you know what I mean? The fight's also probably over. <laughs> so I guess maybe that logic is flawed. But I usually, usually take Fearsome. This is just different, because I have Famed. I have Famed, so I'm, I'm, I'm way better on stam than I would have been, right? So, and also I took student on this guy, so his, his leveling, his levels are off. Um, so level 11, let's talk about this guy. Um, he has a Bardish, he has, like, I think, I think reach advantage is probably great here. I think RA is probably fine. He's pretty good on Stam. Um, there's consideration for weapon spec, like, there's consideration for weapon spec, he's off a perk, right? So if, if he was going to be dodge reach advantage, there's something that he isn't supposed to have that he has. Um, so I've kind of like butchered, butchered the build I do for this, but reach advantage is probably fine with the amount of stam he has. Like it's either it's either Pathfinder, like it's it's never wrong to take Pathfinder, right? Um, so it's either Pathfinder, nine lives is actually very good for helping a nimble guy stay alive late. Nine lives actually gets better the later you get. Um I'll have that conversation in a different stream, but like nine lives is incredible. Um but like it's either reach advantage so so what are what are my options um nine lives he doesn't really have the stam to run adrenaline um pathfinder is is never wrong um uh, reach advantage is never wrong i could speculate on a nimble forge bro if i want to keep this guy super late um i could speculate on on nimble forge here we're gonna hold this part for a second. I, I could I could just do that. Like make a nimble forge bro out of him, and then he's he transitions into late game. And all of a sudden he's a late game bro now, right? So that's an option. Um, but let's see what we can buy that's useful. Hexen. No, I'm good. Weaponsmith. Um, I do need a bonk for Icy Cave. I know where Icy Cave is. I could literally go do it. Um,
Um, I can also get get my my tank his into uh, 300 mil. That's a thing. Um, like I could literally just put my tank in 300 mil, but I'd rather dagger down hedges and spend my money on that. Um, this guy doesn't really do anything for us, right? He's just a warm body and we kept him. This monk, we're gonna keep him forever. We never want him to level. He's just here to make holy water. So let's check bros. I'm not paying 3k for a squire. Um, we could chain roll some lowborn. We kind of, we kind of are now are in a position to roll on premium backgrounds. Um, Oathbringer, not a massive fan. Um, they're great initiative builds. They're great fencers, but uh, squire. Um, their roll ranges are like cool and they have some some good events and stuff but like i'm not paying 3k for a squire i could also literally just go south and like roll on a nomad um so let's let's get our tools we're gonna look for bros for a second um one two three four five We're more than good on food. Uh, this guy can can do icy cave. At when he when he levels again, he can do icy cave. Um. So I guess I guess I buy my I guess I buy my bonk right. I right, go ahead and buy buy the the mallet for so I can comfortably do icy cave and then let's go we're gonna check for retired soldiers here um we'll go south and look for melee nomads or something something spicy to roll on apparently manhunters are really good value at the price like i learned that today oh mustering mustering troops so there's nothing okay but from a gear standpoint like we upgraded our weapons we, we upgrade we had a massive weapon upgrade this stream um in youtube one guy do the math on fearsome it's not that big a difference in mostly wasted perk how did he do the math and is it the video from like five years ago um Because I can tell you, I've killed a lot of orc warriors with javelins and, and fearsome. Like, it just... <laughs> you hit them and you get the fearsome check that you wouldn't get. Like, lots and lots and lots and lots of orc warriors. They, they have done many, 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 many numerous balance tweaks to perks, to items. They nerf bows into the ground. Um, there have been tons of changes. So I warn people who are using YouTube videos, if the YouTube video is like, especially if the YouTube video is before Blazing Deserts, like, like qualify that information. Like don't, don't like,
like, yeah, like, what, what he said, yeah, yeah, you get him, Eco. nah, but it's, um, like, I have, I have done so, like, it's very easy to see, too, like, you saw it earlier, this stream, right, when I was hitting those orc warriors with the jabs, like I was hitting orc warriors from full health, full armor, dealing like sub, sub 10 points of damage. And it was like every single time I touched their HP, the, the white flag became more erect, right? Like every single time. And so I don't, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't ran a mod or anything. So I can only speak anecdotally to what I've seen in my gameplay. So I can't, I can't challenge that statistically. Right. Um, but what I can tell you, what I've seen with my own eyeballs that like, that just ain't the case. Uh, beast hunter is interesting, right? Like they don't have great defense in their background. There's like nothing here I want. You ever like open the refrigerator chat and there's there's nothing to eat? But you're hungry? And like, I could go looking for bros, but that's the equivalent of like, I open the refrigerator, there's nothing ready, but I could cook something. <sighs> that's, like maybe the hardest part of this start is your your brother quality or your you're not brother quality your brother selection because you have access to so few towns and i only have one i have a city one citadel and i have i haven't been here yet i have um like the southern towns so finding finding bros is like very difficult. Oh well, we'll just do what we're known for and chain roll on Lowborn on our next loop up north. Um we need we need holy water. We have enough axes for monolith. I probably need to on my next loop, I need to start buying the potions from the alchemist. Um we're like missing some things I really care about for Monolith. So I don't know if we're on pace for our, for our, ti our time target. But one, one way or another, we'll play till we get it. Um, great early game, bro. No good for, for what we're looking for. their roll range average we're just we're just looking for chain rolling for stars stars in a good base roll nope we still need to figure out what we're gonna do with that guy um these are hard nose these could be this guy could be good stars dependent nope Such is life. What do we have for quests? I'm good. I don't, I don't, I don't want to, I'm not prepared for Necro Savants. And that's a two skull. What are you? While, while I'm thinking about it, it's not Hemovores. Oh God, no. That scaled quite aggressively. I'm like behind the scaling in game, unfortunately. Like, I just don't have the, I just don't have the, um, the tools. 
That's a leader marksman. I'll hit that at night. Just want to check here for bros. So his resolve is meh. Um, his fatigue is, he could be, at best, he could be a fat newt, right? Like, he's gonna get um, 20 points of melee attack. Gifted takes him to 80, even. If I take him now, that levels get him to 82, 83. Maybe this guy balls out. Um, if I take him, I'm committed to taking ones in melee attack. Which I'm okay with. But he's still at best a fat newt. So I'm not gonna get premium bros until I end the in the noble war. Like I need to be able to actually I need to be able to actually uh roll on real backgrounds. But this is this is a, a, a very a fine a fine fat newt. If he had a melee star, he would be he would be well, his fatigue is a little off too, but but yeah, that's that's fine. Just chain roll on lowborn. Don't think about it. Iron lungs. services will no longer be needed as well. Fishermen don't have anything I care about. None of these other classes have potential. I'm going to check the town south of us. Make sure I'm good on tools. Oh, with nets. Get more nets. buy cheaper ammo for the town south of me. Let me check these quests. Package delivery. Southeast, no. No. Oh, this is the raiding quest. This is the one we want. Okay. I'm going to accept this after I kill those brigands right there. And at nightfall, at nightfall, I'm gonna jump on him. Oh, I, I got pulled into the fight in daytime anyway, because I was standing too close. That's, that's fine. Did not intentionally do that. I, I don't third party usually. Like, I don't edge tile, I don't third party, I don't, um, like, I don't kite things into camps. It's effective. It works. 
but it makes the game way too easy. Like, even at this difficulty, if I go aggro a southern army, I can kite that thing around the camp, or around the map, and clear the entire map that way. Get every single famed on my map, like, by day 30. And I just, I, I don't like doing that. Edge tiling, um, it's when you kite something in, like you kite like this group in here, right? So like, like you aggro nobles, you kite them into a fight, you back up to the edge of the map, but you don't retreat and you let the two parties fight and you leave like one enemy from the camp alive, retreat from the fight, pull whatever you kited in away, if it's significantly weakened, you kill that too. Then you kill the camp before it, it re reloads everything that's in the camp. And you clear like a tier three camp. You clear like a chosen camp and the only thing left in the camp is like a drummer. And you do that like, <laughs> you do that, you can do that very, very, very early in the game. Like day one. The, the Mong the Speed Run, um, the like 30 day record for Monolith, there was a lot of that. Um, it's, it feels dirty. Because you, you also pair that with like save scumming, usually. Like, because it's wonky and things can go wrong, you know? Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. If it's your thing, that was the wrong guy. If it's your thing, go for it. Like, don't get me wrong. If you've never done it, if you've never, ever done it, do try it. You, you will have a busted, broken, high-powered run. And then you're like, I feel empty because I didn't earn that run at all. Yeah, you can you can do whatever you like. Have fun with it. I have, I'm not saying I've never done it. I'm not saying right now. And here's the thing, cause I'm not even gonna act holier than now. Let me be 100% clear. If we got in trouble in this run right now, live on stream, if we got in trouble right now and I could shake a 30 stack chasing me by kiting it into a camp and there was no other way for me to get away from it. It was like, well, I fight this or I die. Like the 30 stack has dogs, so I can't run without losing people. If you think I wouldn't do it immediately, right? That's like extreme, extreme, extreme. Like, I don't build my runs doing it, is what I'm saying. Like, I have a hard time telling who's who's who. <laughs> like, who's my guys, who, who the brigands are, um, all that stuff. It's like kind of a mess. Look at this guy guarding these archers. I 
How Hard is a Blade Dancer? Um, they're dangerous as all hell. Are you like looking at the arena? Is it like a Blade Dancer and like two nomads or something? Or is it like, are you looking at a camp? But Blade Dancers are, are nuts. They are, they are, they are messed up. Yeah, Blade Dancers are messed up. Blade Dancers make Sword Masters look like lowborn players. Like, like they're not okay. <laughs> they're they're very trolly. They have like like a billion a billion M death, and they they hit like a Mack truck. If you can hit them, they fall apart pretty easily. Um, but that's a big hill. You can, I, I recommend you save scum it and test, right? Like you're still learning the game. If you don't know the enemy, it's a great chance to like save scum it and test. It's your first time seeing it, right? Like don't get, don't get fixated on like trying to do, trying to do Iron Man rules until you at least know the fights, right? And then as soon as you know the fights, get away from, if you want to get better, get away from um, save stumbling as quick as you can. Because after you know the fights, it'll actively make you worse. It'll like actively make you worse in the game, but. kind of got beat up a little bit, huh? Like, the Mercs did not do well in this fight. Hey, Nature Butter with alert, my man. If you're, if you're still able to hear me, Nature, check the vibes. We kind of popped off this run. And looking forward to seeing you on stream next time. Too, buddy. <laughs> the mercs are not doing well. They're having a bad, a bad day. People started making lurk commands after I stopped streaming for the, for the first time, okay? thing. Ow. And then these mercs are going to chaos my leader. Don't do it. This is mine. This is my kill. Dancer didn't hit it once. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nuts, right? Absolutely nuts. You'll let me have it. 
Thank you for your grace, sir. I'm sorry I disappoint you. Oh my God. How did you feel about the uh, the Blade Dancer's damage output? Was she uh, swinging, swinging, uh, swinging for the fences? Or he swinging for the fences? Thank you for triggering nine lives for me. Oh come on! Don't do it. Have a heart. No. No! Dang it! All right, that's cool. I mean, that's fine. It was like we had help that fight, so that's a fair, a fair um, price to pay for for getting help, I guess. We're gonna buy a couple nets, we're gonna clear our inventory out up here, take that quest, and then head up north. That's the dinner bell from the, uh, the brigand. All right. Eighteen, that's reasonable. Need to make sure I don't sell the bonk that I just bought for like no money. One stack of tools here. Ammo's basically maxed. Um, food is so expensive here. Um, I'll buy a little bit of food. Some paranoid about that stuff. And then. <laughs> it has too much HP for me if I connect. I did it though, 17 rounds of pain. It's brutal. All right, where are my targets? One, two, three, so all the way up north. Um, so I have to book it now. Let's see how it wants to path me. A note on this quest, it's not the same as the patrol the road quest. So you can actually be out and hit your day count and not fail the quest. Patrol the road, you have to be back before the five days ends, which is a nice, a nice little difference. Um, I gotta watch these woods. Dire wolves. Um, I actually need wolf pelts, right? I'm gonna try and hit these wolves and then hit that snack wagon. They're gone. Okay. Minus A fatigue armor attachment, that's pretty dope. to make sure I don't get smashed by a noble army coming out of nowhere. They should run at me. Okay, they're not. So we're gonna go.
hitting these also counts for the quest. I don't, I don't think, um, the arena, the like non, um, you're talking about the non gold rewards, right? Cause like the, the arena pays very, very good. Or very well. Sorry, English is a hard language. I apologize. Very well. Yeah. You're talking about the non. Um, I'm not gonna burn ammo here because I don't need to. Just blow these guys up. Be done with it. Make sure we don't get hit this guy either. I mean, he's dead now anyway. Remember, it's not just fight density. It's not just winning fights. It's how cleanly can you win fights. Okay. I should probably get off of this road so I don't get smashed by a noble army. Die rolls. Okay, S small side quest. Small side quest. I at least need one pelt so I can make uh, an additional fur padding because I have the unhold hide and the, fam and the famed armor I want to put it on. One time I build a complete southern golden army because of fashion, even armors, even the armors are worse than the, the northern ones. Even though the armors were, I've always wanted to do that. Like just have a shiny golden army. Like I've always wanted to do that. Like for fashion world's sake. And I just, I can't bring myself to do it because I like to win. Maybe one day I'll turn down the difficulty and do it. Or I'll do it as like a challenge run. Guilt Southern Armors only challenge or something. Just to like force you to figure out how to make stuff you don't normally use work.
This is like low key a lot of wolves too, huh? <laughs> like, I was like, I killed a couple and I was expecting to see single digits and I looked up and I was like, oh no. There's like actually a lot of these things. Quite a few frenzy ones too. Any little armor damage we take here, we can like repair on our way up. This guy's kind of in a bad spot here. the manies those were 81s come on come on bro you, you got you gotta get those actually care about um, killing as many of these as possible because I want the um, I want the fur the thing is, is you'll kill like 14 of these and get like one fur okay running or circling around same thing so there is a universe where we like battle for these guys and then we do that in an attempt to like late gamify them i'm not saying it's good it's probably awful it's probably abysmal but there there is a world where we do that right I've done it before and it actually worked out really well. You just like go kill some linworms or some scrats, make some light armor attachments. And you have like pretty handy, strong, nimble forge bros, and it just works. Ooh. Mm -mm. Dodge that. Um, 
the walk is just so long to get to these targets. What order am I going to do them in? These two are pretty close together. Um, I'll hit this one. What is this? This is a furnace. So it's probably heavy. This is a goat pin. So it's probably peasants. This is barracks. So it's probably a militia. So I hit these two first up top. And then the third one will be like optional if I can get there. And that's how I'll, that's how I'll play it. Free mood boost. Thank you. Was that Hexen? Yeah. We also have a secondary objective. We could use like a couple more chosen axes. We could also use I actually want to circle around because I don't want to aggro. I don't want to aggro that. Ooh, wolf camp. Uh, that was all my range guys who went. Okay, let me turn. I'll eat the charge and then kill him on the on the crack back. He's injured a little bit. That's a fine job for him. wants a chat. Little did he know. I'm 
done throwing this fight for the sake of ammo. We said we were going to be forced to take ones on this guy, right? But we also have like primaries and all this other crazy stuff to fix. Feels medium. Um, okay. So the debate right now is are we going to are we going to um try and make those three bros into nimble forge bros? Um which is forced. Also, those are unholds, and we need unhold kills right now, right? Um Bros a little banged up here. I just don't have the ammo to put into unholds right now, is the problem. Because I need to finish this quest. That is a, a small, tasty group of unholds, though. Like, that's a very manageable group. Oh, you're not a lowborn fight. You are a noble stack. Um, I have spare equipment over here. Um, do I want nets for this fight? They're not as big as the army we fought, right? Um, they are the they're the exact same size as the army we fought. Um, this is fine. I don't. I'm not inclined to put the nets on, guys. This is fine. We'll do this at night because our ballistas are, are miserable. This might actually be smaller, right? Because the other one, they had more, more range. So they like didn't run at us. Anchor them in place. 
There's also no standard bear, which is like actually a big deal. I mean, all this shiny metal equipment, and he comes into battle wearing a do rag. What do you expect to happen? shield walling this one is not shield walling still missed This is going a lot better than the last noble stack. But also the last noble stack, we like ran out ahead of ourselves and got somebody killed for no reason. So, you know, differences, right? Ow, ow, ooh, two stuns there. That doesn't feel great. Two stuns there is actually kind of miserable. Probably should have moved there. Like an injury would be pretty bad here, I guess. Okay. 
Okay, this is looking pretty good. It's looking pretty, pretty, pretty good. They also have stamina issues. So so like if I try to make them nimble forge, they're gonna have to be on the they would have to be on the lighter end of nimble forge. Right? Like this fight wasn't even that long. It was a six rounder. And they're already smoked. So like maybe maybe that's just the case. Also profit. Um how bad are we on ammo right now? It's not the worst we've been. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to do something else because trying to go nimble forge on them isn't really worth it. Gonna work. Um, I don't mind reach advantage. I don't mind like I don't mind things that give them more M dev. That's for sure. Um, I also don't mind Pathfinder. Um, like I'm just not hundred percent sure what what part to give them here check the old build guide so it's supposed to be pathfinder i think we just click pathfinder and decide we're happy don't do anything spicy or exotic there Um, this guy still wants more fatigue. He always wants more fatigue um, because now he gets Endom. And he's just kind of, he's off tanking for me. Um, that's fine. Okay, cool. We're a little, we're a little banged up. But um, this is barracks, so I don't I don't know what it is. It might be noble so soldiers. It, it might be mercs. Um, but we need to walk for a second anyway because we need to heal. And a giant army formed. That's what that warning message was, like, hey, there's an army heading your way. I also didn't think about the logistics of, like, getting up there, right? Like, I'm not just going to be able to, um... I'm not just going to be able to uh, walk up there, right? There's one, two towers. This is significantly easier to hit. I'll say these unholds are just, whoa. It's like these unholds are running for me. No, they're not. I am the last thing these unholds care about right now. Hit this, count towards our quest anyway. Maybe it'll have, he could even have ammo. Let him run to us. That's fine. Just preserving ammo here. Also, we're kind of building up a pretty sweet bag right now, right? Like the No War is, is so good for like 
just making tons of money. And then when the Noble War is over and you have giant stacks of cash and the rest of the map opens up, you can roll on whatever bros you want. It's kind of nice. It's like very convenient. Like I always recommend for newer players, if you're, if you're just starting out and you're trying to like, you're looking for a manageable crisis um, or you're targeting a legendary, but you kind of get stuck up in the mid game, like no war all the way, like just select the crisis. I mean, you make a lot of money during the orcs. The only one that's really miserable for making money is goblins. Because you make a lot of money during the undead one too, but then you have to do a bunch of undead fights. <laughs> and the fights aren't hard, it's just the IRL time cost. The fights are actually really easy, but the IRL time cost is like a real thing. I know I'm supposed to dagger that for value. That's a free 100 gold item if I just sit there and dagger it. But, you know, I also don't want to make it. Oh, the triple fur loot wagon. Let's go. Let's go. That easy fight was worth well over a grand. Also, this guy's rolling lights out, huh? Like, it's kind of nutty how he's rolling. Taking fours in resolve. Um, taking fours in resolve. Taking fours in fatigue and HP. We're close to not having level HP anymore. We could even wait and fix his HP in vet levels if we want to. When he comes online, he replaces Mace Bro on the edge. Mace Bro doesn't get fired. He sits in reserve. Seems good. Just like a, nim a, a free nimble tank. Kind of doing his thing, you know. That's a caravan and... So I want the wagon and I want the location. I need to, see, I need to check this and see how, how spicy it is. War Dogs and Mercs. Are we healthy? Yeah. So let's hit this before an army pops out of here and runs me off. Oh, these are upper Mercs. Whoa, okay. So there are tiers to mercenaries, just like there are tiers to raiders. Um. So, if you've been watching the run so far, you've seen me fight quite a few Merc companies. Um, you will note the Merc companies I fought did not look like this. <laughs> this is these these are upper Mercs. Um, I'm just surprised there's not a hedge. A hedge would have been the tell for me to know that they were upper mercs um, before I walked in here. But like, it's cool though. 
We're gonna wait all and let the dogs go. The dogs are not going to come forward. That's that's fine. These all have XE too, don't they? They do not have XE. Okay. They do have quick hands. They do not have quick hands. So maybe maybe rushing to zone them is correct. Duly noted. I was 100% certain they would, and I guess they don't. there to just sit and take abuse and you come out here okay ow that thing horrifies me in a way I can't really describe. I have no, like, I know how scary it is. Oh. Oh. That, the hook. That was like some well played, that was like well, well played on the AI's part. Did you, that whole sequence, did y'all see that? That whole sequence the AI just did was like kind of sweet. I just don't want to step in the split. Um. I tried it. Like, I, I tried to get away with it. This is a split here, but I couldn't, I couldn't block all the angles and still make progress towards actually fighting this, these guys. Ow. This is a wait. Ow. We might, we might lose uh, a nimble bro here. Like that could happen. He also doesn't have spare shields in his pocket. 
That's also like an oversight on my part, I think. Um, does he back up? He's like gonna get point blanked by this right here. He needs to move. Um, I have a fresh guy up here. You don't move. Bruh, these, these mercs are gaming. Like, this is like some of the best AI I've seen in a while. When do you do, when do you uh, use the throwing action? Um, Ancient Dead. Ancient Dead and my first couple throws into Warriors. Like my first couple throws into Orc Warriors and um, Ancient, Ancient Dead. Ancient Dead take reduced damage from uh, from piercing weapons. I also didn't bring the nets. And I'm being punished for it. would be like A1 here. Yes. Especially zombies. It's like raw HP. Oftentimes they don't even have that much armor because they're they're damaged. Like their armor's damaged before the fight even starts, right? But they have they have like 130 HP or some stupid number like that. This guy is going to kill somebody if I don't get this under control. Yep. We're just going to change targets. Oh, that was a misclick. I was trying to end that guy's turn. Split hand is useful. I will also use axes when I run out of ammo, right? Generally, high high armor things that um that I'm my I'm throwing into them when they're full full armor. I want to use axes. So like in the case of zombies, it's rare. Occasionally there's like a fallen hero champion that has like perfect armor, like almost no armor damage. Um, so he's like almost, almost 300 male, right? Like I'm throwing axes at him, right? Cause I don't, I don't, I care about fearsome procs to get into undead because it doesn't do anything. I care about peeling off that armor as quick as possible. Okay, so I won't call it a clean win, but it's a win. No, it's a win, no death. Ready to see this loot screen? Oh, I thought it was gonna be it's gonna be sexier than that. Um, I mean, this is not bad, right? Like this is a lot of money concentrated into a small pool. 
but we also like were shredding them with axes and stuff so I, it's reasonable to understand not getting all everything right um keep cranking defense um 60 resolve is probably we're probably still pushing hp um still pushing still pushing stam um he needs brawny he's gonna need indom indom recover and he still has another perk what's his other perk uh steel brow Oh, look at this guy actually hitting benchmarks. He's gonna hit benchmarks in all categories. Oh no, he's not. He's not gonna hit defense. Not even. Not even close. So now you get duelist. Um, you. Yup. Yup. You kind of need more fatigue, but it's whatever. Um, did you use throwing weapons? Um, yep. And then it's Zerk Frenzy Bags and Belts. Yep. 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 Underdog. And I never have to level HP on this guy again. We we're pretty scuffed. Like we we took some hits there. Um, how are you feeling about our armor situation? Not great, huh? Um, this needs to be getting repaired. The thing about Nimble Groves is like, you need backup armor because their armor is going to get shredded. Um, does, do I have anything that guy can wear? Or is he just like, naked and unafraid? Like, he can wear, he can wear something a thrower has, right? Wagons don't have ranged. This is perfectly fine. Man, you kind of got beat up there. I'm trying to make sure frontliner armor is okay. It, it would be embarrassing to lose somebody to a wagon on stream. Like, it would be embarrassing to lose somebody to a loot wagon on stream, right? So we've hit two of the three targets. We've hit, this is like the second or third wagon. Also, we're probably throwing here. They're coming in kind of hot. We're a little damaged, at least in our front line. Um, so we've probably done enough to get credit for the quest. So I, I think trying to go after that other objective in the top corner has two citadels and two watchtowers is suicide. So I think we're we're probably gonna take our take our bag and uh, and call it good. We also like don't have enough time to get back over there, right? We have like a day left on the quest. You guys just chill for a minute.
thank you for the oh that, that was that was yeah yeah were you not following me were you not following me yeah i'm hurt i'm hurt you had a special place here you had a special place here and you weren't already following me i feel some type of way about that no i'm kidding well thank you i appreciate the follow my guy and it's been fun talking to you these last couple streams. I've been enjoying it. This guy's banged up. I can't let anything get on him. This fight is not hard. I just have to pay attention to where my guys who, who were hurt in the the last uh, the last fight. I just need to pay attention to um, where they're at in my formation. And it'll be time to play how much is the bag worth again. Um, could I take down a, a Linworm? Um, this team, this team, a Linworm? Yeah, two Linworms, probably. Three linworms, probably not. Four linworms, no. But a linworm, a linworm, like, sure. Linworms, beasts in general melt against fearsome. Um, like, and I have a lot of jabs. Linworms are a great example of a fight I would use, open with axes because they have you have to strip all the armor off of them, right? Like you need to strip enough armor so that you can, like, start dealing damage. Um. Yeah. But but fearsome melts linworms. It's just in mass. Linworms deal a ton of damage, and this team. This team is is mostly nimble bros. Like, they can't sustain, they can't sustain combat with like four lane worms. Like I could prop maybe like utilizing every, I don't even I don't know, I don't know. Four is like four is definitely the number where it's like no. I mean that's like unholds right like, four this this team four unholds no problem. Like, Unholds get smashed with, by this team. Um, four of them do. Five of them do. Six of them, as long as I play well, I can kill six. Seven is pushing it. Eight, I don't want to fight. Nine, nine wipes us, right? So, you know. Um... This is his Berserk level. Um, so now it's like, do I take, do I take Fearsome? Do I take, he still, he still needs Stam, actually. He actually still needs Stam, right? Um, so am I forced to take Brawny here? I probably am, right? Like he's he's definitely short. Like he's definitely short, Sam. So it's either I take Bronny here or recover. How much fatigue is Bronny worth? Bronny is worth um Bronny is worth not a lot, because he's he's already in fame now. The other thing I could do is I could say, well, I'm just gonna go kill some Scrats later and I'll make a light armor attachment and put it on this. And that'll give him 20 fatigue back. So if that's my plan, then probably, probably, um, I just, 
I just don't think this bro is um, like I, I I didn't quite hit benchmark I think for um, for Stam. He needed like like a lot more. Um, but that's fine. I'll think about it for a second. Um, we walk back, <laughs> we walk back, we get out of here. We have five ammo, we're pretty beat up. We don't have all the tools in the world. Also, that was a, another three fur wagon, by the way. So this is a pretty good bag. Smart repair. This is a pretty good bag. This was a good trip, right? This is like a very, very reasonable bag. It's not the most we've made because we were hitting um, the targets for the mission and not, uh, not all wagons. But, okay. We're not gonna, I, I could turn around and try it. It's only seven footmen. It's also seven footmen from our three fur town. Let's just go, we're banged up. And I would like to have enough juice Steel Brow is very good too, right? Like, cause sometimes you just get hit in the head with a, a giant two-hander and die, right? Like Steel Brow is a consideration too. I guess it's kind of like, what do we want that bro to do? I think we shouldn't have like, it's obvious at this point to me that we shouldn't have gone greed on him. Like we shouldn't have made him a, a greedy two-hander. He should have just been a fat nuke. Then it would have been easy, right? And we would have had way more, he would have like 100 HP. <laughs> he would have like, like 120 HP. You know what I mean? He'd have like 120 HP and like, um, like 60, 70 resolve. He would never break in combat. I mean, and he's technically neutral. He's technically neutral, swinging um, one turn at a time, because he has he has spec Pathfinder, like he has spec and Pathfinder. So he's he's technically neutral if he only swings once. Like that is true. So it's like he's neutral and then we burst damage, you know what I mean? Marksman Raiders. That fight is profit for us. And we're healthy enough to take it. And it's almost night. So as soon as the hit turns nightfall, I'll hit these. But if I run at them now, they'll run in the woods. So I'll wait a second. Now I jump on him. They should run at me. Maybe not.
Looks like all the pressure is gonna be on bottom. Blow this fight up, get back to town, sell. We saw an 18 in that town before. That town's had some pretty good prices for us, so like sell prices. We like started engaging the crisis kind of late. You like to take Relentless on Nimble. Um, It's an option, it's just hard for me to take because there's a bunch of stuff competing. Competing for for my flex perks. Yeah, um Relentless is an extremely powerful perk, but you need a but you want a super high initiative brother. Like you want you want like a you want like a, a one, so my, my break point, yeah, no, I, I know what it is. My break point for like high initiative builds is like, like 140 initiative. Like 140 before, before pelts, before um, hyena pelt. Because that lets you wait, walk up, hit something, end your turn, act first in turn order before whatever it, whatever it was that you hit goes and then you hit it again and you start double turning stuff. It's like budget adrenaline. It's like adrenaline that you don't have to pay stand for. It is extremely strong. He's gonna, he's gonna step forward anyway, right? I just do this. Keep him bottled up. But yeah, no, I, I, I like Relentless. I take it. If I'm building the tall bros, I, it's an auto take for me. Cause then whatever you're doing to disable the enemy, whether it's a net, mace you're using another bro to do something whatever you're doing the katal bro with relentless and like 140 initiative before hyena pelt is gonna walk up death blow something twice then at the top of the turn before whatever it is can act or recover from the status effect death blow it three times in a row it is a lot of damage the dodge value is a bonus Double turning, double turning things is is what makes Relentless powerful. Like double turning things with Relentless is is stupid. It is one of the dumbest things you can be doing, but it's a very specific bro and a very specific build. And you know how I feel about bro hunting. I'm just gonna hire effective lowborn and and clear monolith but if you want to yeah um did i ever did i send you the the sheet that i use that that uh some weird sins built. Um th there's a Katal build in there centered around Relentless. And it, it's really easy to test. Um because you just take a gladiator start and you already have the Katal, you already have a, a bro with a mace. Um and you can just mess around with it. You will see how strong it is very, very quickly. Like you don't have to play a full run or anything just to like see for yourself how busted that can be 
But again, right, that's glad you're like a premium. Um, you have a premium, premium, premium uh, initiative, bro, right? Like you have Viper. They're all covered. All right, chat, here's the bag. What do you think the bag is worth? Type type your type your, your scores in chat for how well you think this rating loop went. I don't think we did as good as last loop um, just because we didn't get to hit as many wagons, but I could be wrong. So I will I will get to the shop. We'll make sure we can sell there. We're starting with 11 11k. We have an 18 sale price here. So All right, chat. Y'all know what time it is. How much do you think this bag is worth? We are selling at an 18. Also, Yef, let me send you send you this. That sheet was built by some weird sins. In my opinion, the best to ever do it at Battle Brothers. Um I wish he was still streaming. Uh, streaming Battle Brothers. He streams Mountain Blade and he's having a blast. Um, or Bannerlord Mountain Blade, but that sheet, check the uh, the Katal. It's it, he calls it a Dervish, but it's a Katal bro. Check check that build. That's that's the build that wants relentless. I got one for 15k. Okay. Let me refill my drink and we'll do it. I should set up like a points thing for like guessing the bag. I'm gonna start doing that. Um, I sent you a, a Twitch DM, yeah. I I DM'd you in Twitch. If you've never gotten a Twitch DM, it's right next to your icon in the top corner. You have a red exclamation point in the top right. All right. Oh. Ah. 
had my OBS up. All right. Let's sell. Do we need 210 mail for anything? Um, this guy's me a fat nude. I actually need both of these 210 males. Feels bad. Oh, you're off on? Okay. One two fifteen. Probably don't have to. I actually check and see if I need to. Um, I don't know if I need a second. I probably don't need a second Barty right now. I'm gonna take a. I want to think about my my comps for a second to see if I'm gonna use like make a second guy for it. Probably not. Um, spare heater shield goes in the tank's pocket. I actually just need to go south and get um, spire shield or spire spire shield, spar shield. Y'all know. Yo, you know what I'm trying to say. Y'all know what I mean. Um, so that was roughly a 9k bag, but you, you kind of get, oh, actually no, um, am I, I'm good on bill hooks, right? I'm good on bill hooks. Um, so that was a, a 10K bag. It's kind of, you kind of get debated, right? Cause you, you, if I don't say what I'm trying, what I'm planning on keeping, you know what I mean? There's, it's like kind of a debate there, but. Um, I don't need this pike either. Yeah. It just wasn't as odd. We didn't do the same value of fights as we did last time. But 20, 21k is still still great. Um, hunters, cell swords, monks. Okay got some guys to roll on um we're gonna hire another water boy like he's he's just there to make holy water and hold gear for us like that that's his entire job um so We don't like, for cost efficiency purposes, like we, we can roll on things like cell sores now, right? Like we're making enough money to do that. Um, we don't need, we don't need range classes, although we could upgrade, we could upgrade our range situation quite a bit, right? Like we could buy hunters, um, but like, <laughs> like we have a we have a grave digger we have a grave digger as a backliner right now um like we have a grave digger as our banner juggler why do you like jugglers um their roll range, so their initiative is nutty. 
their initiative is really nutty actually um so if, if you're gonna build dodge bros early jugglers are kind of nuts for that right jugglers are actually really good for that <laughs> um jugglers can be they have plus to hit head in their in their class that lets you know how how many jugglers are fired um but yeah 112 to 120 is kind of sweet i didn't i've never checked jugglers i assume they are trash they're actually reasonable they're actually very reasonable like dodge anything bros i will remember that in the future like this is like Yeah, this is like bra almost brawler quality. They can just like these ranges are good. Yeah, this that's fine. Um, I like checking this anatomus here. They have really high mat roll ranges. I wouldn't mind making another fat new. This bro early game would be would be an actual an actual like monster, right? Um, but late game, like this late in the game, he's gonna get twenty at seventy six. So this is seventy six. Assuming I'm not rolling all ones. Yeah, if this was early game, this guy would be a monster. Um, the question is, can I use him? And like, what's his fatigue like? Mm -mm. He's, I, so right now, if his fatigue was a little bit better, like this guy needs a lot to function. I, I'll hold, I'll hold on for a second. Let's not cast judgment yet. Um, like we can roll on premium backgrounds. It's just like like these aren't the premium backgrounds that I like. I would like an adventurous noble. Um. I would like, at this point, I would roll on a hedge. I would roll, I would roll on a hedge or, or a glad. Like middle, I don't want to roll, if I'm rolling on premium, um, premium backgrounds, I, I want to be rolling on things that can be Zerk, that can do Zerk Frenzy in, uh, in Battleforge gear, right? That's like where our, where our minds are at right now. We need ammo. There, these towns have cheap ammo though. Um, I'll do ammo. We'll go roll. We'll go see if there's a glad, if there's a glad or a hedge to roll on. I also wouldn't mind getting. Yeah, brawler, brawler, lumberjack, farmer, better choice. I like that too. What am I saying? I've been so I have a friend who plays and he's been like pushing me to roll on on highborn and I'm like chain roll lowborn. That's how you play. You're hundred percent right, Don. Thank you. See it's late. I'm getting sloppy. Kinda sipping my wine a little bit. And I'm being lazy. Thank you for that, Don. That is an incredible first chat. You assisted me when I was getting ready to do something dumb. Chain roll farmers and you'll hit it. I may have to roll on every farmer I see. I may have to roll on every farmer I see, but you're right. Because it's not just the body. If you're trying to if you're trying to roll on a god, it's not just the body, it's the stars. You actually need a lot of stuff to line up to make those guys.
That is a cheap militia, though. That is a, a cheap militia. Let's check him. So close. Again, we're getting we're getting these defense stars. Actually, this guy this guy is a candidate as a tank. This guy is not a candidate as a tank. This guy's HP is too low. But this guy is a candidate to be a tank, right? Um, these guys are just water boys. They're, they're just there for the holy water event and to carry my stuff. Their, their inventory space. Right. Oh, I was supposed to check ammo there. Yeah. Three HP difference. That's a roll. That's a that's a stat roll difference. Um, also, that's a that's a a one of your three stat upgrades. That's one of them. And um, and his his base defense was worse. One two. Like, and you're already like making exceptions to like try and get that guy there, right? Because his, his fatigue is a little low to be a tank to begin with. By the way, this guy's fatigue is this guy's fatigue was was better too by like eight points. So you're already making exceptions. So it's like all that stuff adds up into not getting the bro you want. So we're gonna go up here, chain roll on some farmers. How much is food here? Before I forget. Food is nice and cheap. And then after we try and roll for bros, we will get back to uh, making a bunch of money and wrapping up the noble war. Are there any camps I want to pop in route north? Um, I can hit this. I can hit that camp there. I can like dog leg through here. Orc country starts over here. So there's probably an orc camp or two right here. So there's a bunch of stuff for me to hit in route. Farmers, let's go. Insurance on my investment. Ugh. I mean, it doesn't matter when you're swinging chosen axes, right? Nope. Nope. Brick and brick. care about fear bees just chain rolling on lowborn looking for something good nope all right good on ammo got tons of gold what contract is this this is raid for five days we're going to do it. But chat, uh, for me this evening, that is all. We, all. we also need to, I'll do some thinking off stream on, on how I want to deal with this monstrosity. He, I should have just made him fatigue neutral. I would have been able to dump, dump a bunch of stats into HP. 
his resolve would have been crazy. Um, he's like pushing it for fatigue. Um, so like he's not quite where he needs to be. Um, I am not a massive fan of Recover. Uh, Recover got nerfed. Just so you guys know, Stam got nerfed in general quite a while ago, but the guys from five years ago are still saying that Recover is the best thing in the world. Um, but that said, this might be a very relevant Recover situation, right? Like this recover might be the only answer to like unscrewing this build. But we'll see. It's not the bit the build is fine. The bro is just just a tick short on where he needs to be on stand. But alright guys, hey, it's been fun. Thank you guys for stopping by. Don, I appreciate your comment. Welcome to the stream. Um Maybe, maybe you can help me as we're, we're on our quest to clear Monolith. Um, my average clear time on Monolith is about, is about 200 to 225 days. Um, we're a little behind this time, specifically Holy Water. We're fine on money. We're fine on gear. Um, we need a couple bros, but we have plenty of time to level them. Um, the important thing is we have our, our forge tank level. That's the one that takes forever. Um, we have money to buy whatever we need, um, but I still think we're behind um, what we what we normally do from all it. Um, but either way, we'll play till we clear it. Um, I think if I had to guess from where I'm at now, I'd say we're like 250. 250 in clearing it um but we'll play it out uh but yeah thanks don though like welcome um and i hope to see you back here man um trying to think plan for next stream we're going to take the contract here on our way up. On our way up, we're gonna hit, we're just gonna blow up camps. I have this like cluster of ancient dead camps that I've been kind of darling about, finding excuses not to go into. Probably need to do that. Um, but we'll do that quest, hit about four, maybe five camps on the way up. We may be swapping the brigand out for the, um, for the scavenger, because we need, um, like keeping up with ammo is a thing. We don't, I don't think we have another retinue slot yet. We don't, are we close? Yeah, we're not close on this retinue slot. So um, that's a thing to think about too. So we'll see, but that's kind of the plan moving forward. All right. Thank you guys. Um, y'all have a, uh, a great one. Here's the seed if y'all want to try to. Take care. I guess I'll see who's on for rating purposes. We'll, we'll head out somewhere. Let's see if anybody's on Battle Brothers right now. Looks like uh, Low Shadows doing some peasant militia. Let's go. Let's go say hi.
expected. Welcome everybody. This literally just started. Going for the people. 